John Leach, how important are these patchwork awards for connecting MPs more to their communities? I think the best thing about these awards is that people recognise um, that MPs from across the political spectrum, from as far north as, the, as Orkney and Shetland down to the Isles of Scilly, are doing great work within their local communities, within different parts of their local community. Because what we mustn't forget is that we have lots and lots of different minorities, whether it be religious minorities, cultural minorities, or levels of deprivation. Some areas are incredibly wealthy, but have areas of deprivation. So you've got quite, quite a few people that um, are from very deprived backgrounds. So you've got lots of different minorities with, within every constituency, and it just shows the good work that MPs of all parties are actually doing across the, across the board. This may seem a strange question, but when you as an MP, and indeed your fellow MPs, when you come to doing your constituency work, do you have to make a special effort, go out of your way, as it were, to help ethnic communities uh, and, and disadvantaged sections of the community, or is it something that is woven into the basic fabric of what you do? Well, I would like to hope that it comes naturally to all MPs. Um, I often say to people, I, I come from a Methodist background, um, I, first, first time I ever went to church, I was three days old, so I was brought up within the church, within a religious community. It must be quite tough for people who don't come from a religious background and have no faith, um, because some people don't want to be involved in religion if they're not religious, but it comes naturally to me. But not just, not just the Christian faith, other faiths as well, because you're used to that kind of environment where people from whatever faith background it is are doing great work within their local communities. Um, so it's, I, I suppose it's interwoven inside me, really, to do that kind of work. Is it more difficult for you to do your job in helping ethnic communities when there is the occasional violent incident that we have had. Does that make it tougher for you as an MP? Do you have to go the extra mile? I think we all need to work very hard to ensure that we've got community cohesion in all our communities. I'm quite fortunate in that I represent a constituency that, um, while certainly not every single person votes Liberal Democrat, it is a Liberal with a small L community. Uh, and I think people are welcomed regardless of their background, regardless of their faith and regardless, regardless of their economic background as well. So it's a local community that does stick together regardless of whether you come from one faith or another or one cultural background or another. What would be your ambition in terms of the interweaving of the different communities in Britain? Would you, would you like to get to the point where the patchwork awards are unnecessary because because everybody is doing the best they can and, and, and integration is part of the way of life or do you think there will always be a need to put a focus on, on, on the relations between MPs and ethnic communities as the awards are doing? I think, I think there will always need to be some level of focus um, but I think it, it will be hopefully in the future it will be more simply about recognizing the work that everyone is doing within all those different diverse communities uh, whereas at the moment I suppose in some areas a lot more work needs to be done uh, in order to m maintain community cohesion and make sure that when there are um, incidents that take place um, where violence erupts or whether there is um, a, a serious disagreement between different sections of the community hopefully over time we will get rid of that and then it will just be about fully welcoming the work that people are doing but I think we've still got a long way to go in some areas. Yes let me ask you about that long way to go because I was wondering whether there are some MPs who actually need quite a lot of encouragement to get into the kind of relationship with the ethnic communities that you have pioneered? I think in certain parts of the country where um, the ethnic mix of a constituency is still very, very minor and it's 99.9% um, ethnically white British, um, a white British community, clearly um, MPs in those areas, unless they've worked with um, diverse communities in, in, other, in other shapes or forms, clearly they will probably need more encouragement than in areas like Manchester where we are a very ethnically di diverse area. Um, but I think on the whole I would say that uh, the vast majority of MPs that I speak to or hear speaking about issues 
recognise that there is a job to be done to ensure community cohesion, whether, whether you've got a community that's 50% non-white or 99.9% .9 white, there's still, uh, there's still work to be done to make sure that there is that community cohesion within those local communities. And your hopes for the catalytic effect of these awards? Well, I would hope that more M MPs will see other MPs getting awards and will recognise that um, they too can get recognised for the work that they do. And, and perhaps that they will then, in future years, be showing very clearly the work that they are doing. So I think with a lot of MPs, they're doing the work, but it's not necessarily being seen um, outside of that work that they're doing with those individuals or communities. That's an interesting point. So it might be too behind the scenes and they don't talk to the media enough about it. What do you think about the role of the media in encouraging uh, a better relationship between communities in this country? Well, I think the media have got a really important role. And I think sometimes, um, particularly the newspapers, could do a bit better than they do about um, creating um, better harmony within communities. Because often, um, newspapers, um, they, they're attracting the lowest common denominator. They want to sell newspapers. And bad stories sell newspapers, not good stories. Um, I doubt very much that there'll be lots and lots of coverage of these awards and the good work that's going on in local newspapers because, or, or national newspapers because it doesn't sell. Um, and so I think the, the newspapers, the TV, the radio can do a great job in promoting the work that is being done in local communities. I'm quite fortunate in that, uh, apart from having a good press officer, uh, who, who gets the message out across to, uh, to the local media about the things that we're doing and what the local community is doing. Um, but we're also, we, we've also got a local media that is really interested in, in seeing the work that is being done with, across those communities. Yeah, as well. That's the key, to engage the local media and tell them about what their parliamentary representatives are actually doing to foster integration in the communities. Absolutely. I mean, one of the campaigns that, I've been, that I was supporting was trying to stop um, the, the, radio, uh, the, the radio hour for the Jewish hour and for uh, the gay and lesbian hour to be, to be avoided from being cut. Um, through the through the changes in in, in local in, in local radio funding, unfortunately that was unsuccessful. But of course, because we were campaigning on their behalf, they were very strongly endorsing the work that we were doing, supporting their campaign to to, to carry on doing the good work that they were doing. Finally, your hopes for the future of the Patchwork Awards? Well, I would hope that um, everyone takes them very seriously, that more MPs get nominated both by their local communities and by colleagues for the, for the good work that they're doing, and that hopefully the, rec the, the awards will get the recognition that they deserve, um, and then the MPs that do get recognised get, um, get rewarded for that recognition um, with good stories in their local newspapers. John Leach, thanks very much indeed. Thank you.